Hello, this is Randy for MorganLights.com. Today we're going to talk about how we built our arches, also known as leaping arches. The materials that you'll need for this exercise are thin walled PVC. You'll need some pipe clamps. We're using half inch thin walled PVC, so you need a half inch pipe clamp. Screwdriver for that pipe clamp. We're using string to actually form the base of our arches. Then we'll use rebar to mount them into the ground. Of course, you'll need your hacksaw. And we're using one half, exactly one half, of the number 700 RGB light strand. It's the perfect length, eight foot, uh, inch and a half, two inches, thereabouts. We're cutting our PVC to eight feet, three inches, so that the strip is up inside a little bit. And we'll now look at the construction and what goes into that. Okay, here's the completed arch. We're down in the basement, so we're going to zoom in on the arch itself so that we can point out the components of the final construction. We have the PVC pipe itself, which is 8 feet and 3 inches in length. That gives a little extra space when we cut the RGB strand so that it doesn't go all the way to the end. We're trying to protect it from getting in the moisture. To get the arch that I have here, we used a 58 inch piece of string. So it's 58 inches across the base. Once that's cut, you use the pipe clamps to secure it to the pipe itself. Creates the arch. And then we have the control string running into one end of it and then we seal both ends to prevent moisture from getting into the pipe. Now we'll actually look at some RGB test patterns from the AlphaPix controller and see it in action. Okay, we're going to cycle through a few of the test patterns that are available with the AlphaPix controller. I hope you enjoy this display. As you can see, there are lots of effects that you can achieve with this controller and this light setup. So I hope that you have found this informational. And if you have any questions, please send those to us at morganlights.com. Have a great day.